Paco will be happy because we've got Valencia at plus 120. Um, Real Batiste plus 250. Both of these sides were involved in games over the weekend that involved Reds. Real Batiste, they had two of them themselves. Um, normally, they're not scoring. They... Oh, They've lost it. They've lost the plot for me. They've not got any sort of cohesion. Uh, Valencia are strong, especially at home. And at plus 120, I'm thinking that could almost be a gift. A draw is obviously a tight one at plus 225. The under over at two and a half with the over being at plus 115. Uh, Roman, you can go first here because I'm strong. I'm strong on the home side actually getting a win here. Batista are going to be missing players. And also, they've, they're not together. They are not together, and that's why we're not getting, we're seeing them put good results week after week after week. And then when you look at them in the league, they're in the top six. Yeah, well, I mean, despite that, I mean, Betis are still like fourth, uh, drawn with points with Atletico, who are third on 24. So, I mean, they are getting the results, but of course, they're not looking like the Betis that uh, really struck us last season with their amazing football. They've been a bit more irregular. And you were mentioning the red cards they have, and that's a bit of the thing that's worrying me for this game because it's two, or they're two basically best offensive players, Borja Iglesias and Fekir. Uh, they, they provide the goals, the creativity and attack, and, and they're not going to be available. So that's a massive blow, I think, for Betis against a Valencia side who are strong at home but are also going through a very, very uh, bad period of results. They haven't won uh, in, I think, the last five or six games uh, with no wins, just draws and, and defeats. So uh, Gattuso's men are also struggling a bit lately. And um, overall, I think it's a bit unpredictable. I even think a draw could be a possible outcome here uh, because uh, basically both teams are lacking their, their main man in, in attack. Also, from Valencia's side, Cavani is still recovering from an ankle concussion and we won't know till the very last minute. Ankle be... concussion? Yeah, yeah, an ankle concussion. <laughs> That's what I they said. A concussion only happened with a bang on the head. Well, concussion, I mean, it's uh, in Spanish, it's take contusion. Maybe I translate it literally, but it's like a blow to the, to the ankle. Uh, oh, some, okay, yeah, yeah. And he kicked impact. him or, or studs or something. To his hands, crankle. <laughs> okay, sorry, was a bit of. Uh, so uh, apparently he's still he's still recovering from that, and we don't know if he's he's gonna he missed the last game because of this, as a matter of fact. So uh, not having Cavani, not having Borja Iglesias, not having Fekir, it kind of feels like maybe we're gonna be a bit um, lack, lacking a bit in terms of goals, you know. So I I wasn't too sure what would happen. I wouldn't be surprised if Betis get the win because I mean it's true that they're not their best, but they still have enough quality and uh, Valencia home are strong so for me it was just a bit too unpredictable so I just passed a lot of the games have been like that this week yeah, they? yeah. I hard, mean you hard. just run down the uh, I mean you Atletic Club versus Valladolid Valladolid obviously are going to have their suitors but it's a very tight game mm -hmm. Espanol Villarreal Villarreal are out with a washing and Espanol are not to be trusted Mallorca Atletico Atletico out with a washing and we're talking about teams that are in the top six like yeah. I know Batista fourth but there's two sides on 24 and two on 23 so there's nothing between three four five and six uh, Pavlos Valencia at home at plus 120 do you trust them no no, because you know what's going to happen? We're going to pick Valencia or uh, the draw or something, and then Betis at plus 240 or 250, they're going to win. After we bet on them at, uh, I don't know, minus 120s and plus 100s, and then they got all these red cards, which is, I, I'd like to stand on the cards just a bit later. However, uh, yeah, but, you know, Betis, I would go with Valencia money line, to be honest, because of the fact that Betis are going to be missing uh, both uh, Fakir and Borja, Borja, Borja Iglesias. Yeah. Of course they do. They can. They can probably. I mean, William Jose and uh, probably. I don't know Canales is going to play at the ten. Uh, they they do have a lot of players who can fill in that spot. And uh, I, to be honest, if I had to play something here uh, in the in full time, I'd go with a draw. Uh, however, I'm going to take the draw at half time because I love the stats. Uh, Valencia in first halves, six wins, two losses, five draws. Uh, at home, four losses, uh, four wins, sorry, zero losses and three draws. So they have the, the fifth most draws in the league in the first half and the third most draws in first halves at home. And Real Betis, uh, they have five wins, one loss and seven draws in first halves. And on the road, on the road, one win, one loss, and four draws in first half. So, uh, and also two of the last three, uh, two of the three matches between the two sides last season had draws in the first half. So, my personal play is uh, the draw in the first half at plus one ten. But 
I was also looking at this match for cards and uh, for a red card actually. The price is at minus uh, plus one eighty ish or something. And uh, the reason why I, I looked at the cards is because uh, we also touched on that uh, you know before the show. Valencia they have seven red cards against them in thirteen matches. Seven red cards against them. So every other match, their opposing team gets a red card. And uh, Betis, you know. Pfft, they have the most red cards so far in the season with six in 13 matches and Valencia have four in 13 matches. So I wouldn't be surprised by a red card. But um, also, last but not least, uh, the, the, the referee has awarded three red cards in seven matches so far. So everything points uh, to seeing some cards here. But the matchup between Valencia and Betis rarely produces red cards and rarely produces a lot of cards. So I'm leaving it alone this week. Uh, yeah. I'm going with the draw first half. Yeah, and... Uh, Maybe, yeah, maybe Valencia can do it. Maybe they can do it. But I think it's a draw. Yeah, I mean, but you're actually um, answering the reason why you're leaving it because uh, this referee is free from seven, which is under mm. under 50%. When mm. the average for uh, Spain games is at 54%. Thanks to uh, Roman for educating mm. me on that. So what what is it actually? Is it plus 180 for a red card in the game? Mm, it's plus 180. And I've... I mean, statistically, I could maybe put it in a, like a, I don't know. They can't afford to lose any more players. Yeah, they can't. But, you know, this Gattuso is is a really, he, he used to coach in Greece, you know, and I, I looked at him. He's a very interesting guy. So he he, he pushes his passion. He transfers it. He transfers it to the players and um, mm. they, they play very passionately. So. And again, Real Betis, we've seen that they destroyed many of our bets this season by getting red cards on the road. Yeah. So maybe, maybe plus one eighty. I don't. I don't want to pick. I don't want to pick it. I don't want to pick it. And you know what's no, going to happen? No, I mean, how could like you expect a red, red card cards. from uh, a team led by Gattuso? He's the most calm, well-natured <laughs> player. <laughs> He's an absolute nutcase. Uh, okay, let's have a little look at the official picks because I'm I'm uh, nailing my uh, myself to the mast. On my mouse to the cell. Let's have a little look. I'm going for. Da -da -da -da. Okay, first half draw at minus 105 nil nil. Be nice. Valencia money line at plus 120. That'd be nice. 2 nil to Valencia. And then Paco will be happy as well. Okay.